Detroit Catholic Central High School football is nearing a century of tradition. In the 94 years, the Shamrocks have moved their campus five times around the metro Detroit area, most recently to Novi, Michigan in 2005. Now, in 2023, the school is entering a new era with its new state-of-the-art science center nearing completion. The football program is also entering a new era of coaching with the hiring of graduate Justin Sassante as head coach. The process we went through to hire our next head football coach, which followed up two legends previously, um, Coach Tom Mack and Dan Anderson, it was more about culture than it was about X's and O's. And I think that a lot of people use that word culture a little bit too much. When we talked about it here in regards to Catholic Central, we didn't really feel like we needed to reinvent the wheel, but we wanted to bring somebody in that was a little bit of a fire breather, somebody that would hold the kids accountable, would love them up in a tough way, but give them a lot of tough love, uh, pour into them, make sure that the kids understood that this is bigger than the game of football. It's really about building a, a brotherhood, a bond, and becoming a family before you become a team. So going through the process, when we went through probably over 50 resumes and brought in our final grouping, Justin stood out hand, head and shoulders above the rest of the candidates, and, and we really felt it in his interview. And I think that's, that's important. When you talk about culture, it's hearing it, it's seeing it, and it's feeling it, and that's what Justin Sassante brought to the table. To this time, I can get emotional talking about it. It means the world to me because I have a great opportunity to impact these, the, these young men of this institution that are different. They want to be different, they want to strive different, and now I have their attention in a platform and that's a great responsibility by God. Uh, it's a great responsibility afforded me to by this administration and alumni, and I take it very serious. So, uh, but you know, it, it puts a smile on my face, and my family is extremely proud. My friends, uh, that I am the head football coach here. He's a guy who is just—he's all effort, great attitude, but also is a very smart guy. Knows how to navigate the tricky waters of athletics today. Coach Asante, man, uh, fire breathing dragon. I think. Um, one of my biggest life quotes I actually got from him. When I was playing for him in high school, he was my defensive coordinator. And every game day, this is how he would describe game day. He would say, you know, you work all week and you go to practice, the grit, the grind, the hustle. You work all week. To come into a game, how would you feel if you just want to take your paycheck from you? And I kind of treat life like that. Me and Coach Sasante have known each other for quite a while. And uh, to see the leap that the program has taken since he's got in, it's tremendous. Um, me being a football guy and you know having invested four um, years into the program, I love to see it and everything that he's bringing to the program as well is remarkable. I think the thing that makes him special is that is truly who he is. It's not fake. I think kids here, especially at CC, can feel if someone's being organic and if that intensity really is part of their makeup and their character and that's, that's who Justin is. To be here and be so uncomfortable when I was a freshman and a sophomore. And, and just not to have a lineage here and to create a name at Catholic Central, this, this, this prestigious uh, institution that everybody knows and respects. And then to have a good career and to come back and coach 15 years. When I was coaching for Coach Mack, I was coaching for CC and Coach Mack, and I would have did that the rest of my life. And then when uh, Coach Anderson came in, uh, how close we are, you, you know, yes sir, I'll be, be your defensive coordinator and help as much, and then uh, my life faced adversity. I honestly believe God puts all these obstacles and, and, and occurrences in your life in order to prepare you. He's intense in his relationships, he's intense in the way he coaches, his work ethic, his professional life, uh, as a husband, as a parent, and that's just how he lives his life. That's why he's a perfect fit for the kids because we want those guys to see somebody who's doing that in every aspect of life, not just in a sport. So you can live life with intenseful purpose and, and a lot of intensity and he's, he's setting the standard for our young men. That's my personality, and so our staff has a great personality and made up a lot of different people, but the one thing we all share is our passion and intensity. It might come through in different ways, but, but you're not going to get a more intense, polished staff that we have in, in, the, in high school football. As winter turns to spring and the snow begins to melt, Coach Sasante and his staff are eager to begin working with their student-athletes. How you approach today, how you attack today, how bad do you really, really want it?
when Tom Mack was hired as the head football coach at uh, Catholic Central back in 1976, he brought this with him, the March Madness Discipline Agility Program. It's, it's very structured. The expectations are very clear of what we want from our men. I think, you know, it's one of the most important things that we do. Go! One, two, three, four, five, six. It's about the meticulous and, and almost the militant discipline. Everybody paying attention to detail, everybody taking themselves out of their comfort zone as a group. Everybody has to wake up early, get here. The rest of the state is sleeping and we're working. We're doing it at 6.29 in the morning because now these guys have to make an effort to uh, you know, commit to the cause, right? Um, and I think that's beneficial for anybody, whether they're a football player, whether they're an athlete in another sport, whether they're just a student who wants to improve themselves. Seniors, this is your last March Madness. You're going to miss it more than you can ever imagine. And anytime you can bring your community together and uh, build some excitement around your program, it gets everybody on the same page, um, united behind the same message, I mean, I think that's a really important part of building any program, and it's one of the things that makes Catholic Central football a very, very unique experience. And uh, that, that really gives you a great ability to build armor and remember this time in the football season when it's time to surrender that we just will not. It's all about who you are as a young man when nobody's watching. It's all about your commitment. What you commit to, your yes is yes, your no is no. Bring it up, let's go. The whole week was amazing. I feel like the personality of our new staff uh, is bleeding into the kids. Uh, they, they, they've been building every day with their intensity, with their intent. And uh, this is an opportunity of 50 years of tradition to set the tone for our season. So uh, very proud of the young men, how they responded, proud of our coaches, how many were out and engaging with the young men each and every day. One, two, three, six, six.